Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today I'd like to go over the strategy that I used in my last video of the USSR invading France. So at this point Germany has capitulated, uh, Italy is at war with me, and I declare war against France. So I use the old, I'm going to call it the Bavarian rope dope trick, where you basically set up this uh, cauldron here, and you let the French forces uh, come in and lock horns with your forces, and then you tack into them. I have tanks set up here down uh, next to Munich that are going to wrap around and close the door and encircle, hopefully, as many divisions as possible. Um, so this is a tactic that has been put forth by many streamers to get around the Maginot line without having to go through the low countries here, Luxembourg, Belgium, and the Netherlands. And it works great. Uh, it's a great strategy. Uh, my video, two videos ago, I showed uh, how to not do it because I whiffed big time and it didn't work. Um, so I think what I found in this video was a little surprising because the AI behaved in a way uh, that was unexpected. We are going to have German, French, Italian, and English forces basically up here in Germany. So as the French and the Allies come in, they're going to re-raise German divisions and you'll see that not all those nations uh, do the exact same thing. So kind of what ends up happening here, so as you can see, uh, the line of attack that my tanks are moving towards is working, and we're getting that encirclement that I wanted. You see all the French forces uh, locked up here all around the front, right? And then something interesting happens. Let me get to the part of the video. So basically, I've created a pocket here, and you only see one French division. Whereas before, they were all along the line. So what has happened here is, once my tank army got up to the Maginot line, all the French divisions backed out. But they did not coordinate with their allies, the Italians and the Germans. The Italians and the Germans stayed up in Germany, allowing me to encircle them. It actually would have been better had they all moved back to the Maginot line together uh, in a coordinated fashion. So this is almost an exploit right here. So I don't know if it's written into code that France has to, like, defend their border because they know they have these forts, but it seemed to me like some interesting AI behavior, and maybe people can help me out in the comments below if they've seen behavior like this anywhere else on the map, is this just the devs have programmed in like this, this kind of hardwiring into France that they go back and defend the Maginot line uh, because they know about um, this strategy that I'm employing, but the only thing is it's typically Germany attacking France, not all these nations together. So, in my opinion, what happened here is the game's broken after here. Uh, Germany's gone. Italy, I don't even think, has divisions anymore. I end up taking out France, so France is out of the war. I think all I need to do is walk into Italy. So I literally have Poland, Germany, France, and Italy. Um, all of mainland Europe could be mine. I can literally just snatch up the rest, and no one's going to stop me. The only thing I have to do is cross the channel and get into England. Like, at this point, the war's won, in my opinion. Um, way better than historical Germany, like, winning the Battle of France, because um, France and Germany are out of the war. And Italy will be out of the war very soon. So this is kind of an interesting maybe exploit, you could say, that I found in the game that I just wanted to share with you guys. And um, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with the AI behavior uh, with the French divisions. So 
Maybe someone's figured it out and they can help me out in the comments below. But thanks for watching me, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.